So, hi. It's been a while. I know that around two weeks ago I said I'd see you guys next Sunday, but I ran into some issues. The more complex I made my game, the more things seemed to go wrong, and I'd started to get really, really frustrated. I felt like every time I wanted to implement a new feature, I'd watch three hours worth of YouTube tutorials and get myself a degree in advanced mathematics and computer science. It just wasn't working. So after about three or four days of frustration and many failed attempts to add a pause screen to my game, I gave up. But then, I had to think, and I remembered an open source 2D and 3D game engine called Godot. Some people pronounce it Godot, but the first time I heard it, the guy called it Godot. I had previously put it down because I had too much going on in my life at the time to have the mental capacity for learning something from scratch. But this time was different. Within a few hours, I had a working platform on my hands with the ability to change levels. It was brilliant. The next day, I added in a main menu and the gun mechanics. And that was basically my whole game recreated in another engine. After I'd added traps, a lighting system, jump pads, particles, and 2D ragdoll physics, as well as a different level end mechanic, I had almost fully restored what I originally created in Game Maker in a month within the space of a week. Working with Godot has been an absolute breeze, and I'm really enjoying learning the new engine. That's not to say I don't still love Game Maker, but I feel like it's starting to show its age in some ways for me. I've been using it for 9 or 10 years now, and I think we're getting to the point of saying goodbye to it as my main game making tool. I would highly recommend giving Godot a chance if you're looking for something to make 2D games in as a solo developer because it provides many tools that would make your workflow efficient and fast. However, if you're someone who loves Game Maker, don't take offense. My brain just doesn't work in the right way for me to use it. I have a hard time finding and organizing all my sprites, objects, and scripts, and it just doesn't come with a whole lot right out of the box. With Godot, I'm able to create menus, physics objects, and 2D lighting straight away. With Game Maker, it felt like the countless lines of code I'd need to write in order to do something slowed down my creative process. But with Godot, I'm able to implement new features that I think are super cool almost straight away. Some stuff looks a bit wonky still, and I think that that's just going to either have to be a sacrifice I have to make, or I'm going to just need to get a bit more familiar with the program. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Thank you for watching the devlog. I'll definitely be back next week. Thank you to the 24 people who are currently subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you all. If you feel like joining and becoming lucky number 25, come on down. My arms are open. As always, leave any suggestions down below in the comments. I pretty much always reply. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, give us a like. Thank you so much for watching. And if you made it this far, I'll see you next week Monday. I upload on Mondays now. I might do a few videos and exciting features in between, but the next main devlog will definitely be on Monday. Alright, see you guys later. Goodbye.